Hey there, history buffs. Today, I'm going to dive into one of the most fascinating tech mysteries of the 19th century, the 1858 Atlantic Telegraph cable failure. Picture this, it's the mid-1800s and the world is on the brink of a communication revolution. The idea of connecting Europe and North America with a single telegraph cable seemed almost impossible. But in 1858, that dream became a reality. Engineers and visionaries worked tirelessly, braving the harsh Atlantic Ocean to lay down the 2,500 miles of cable. After several attempts on August 16, 1858, the first official transatlantic message was sent. It was a monumental achievement. But just as quickly as it began, the celebration was cut short. Within weeks, the cable mysteriously stopped working. What went wrong? Well, it turns out the failure was due to several factors. One of the primary issues was the cable itself. It was insulated with gutta percha, a natural rubber-like material which wasn't as durable as hoped. The constant pressure from the deep Atlantic waters caused the insulation to break down. Moreover, the voltage used to transmit messages was too high. They used up to 2,000 volts, which was way beyond what the cable could handle. This excessive voltage caused the cable's insulation to deteriorate even faster, leading to short circuits. There were also issues with the manufacturing process. Quality control wasn't as stringent as today, so there were inconsistencies in the cable's construction. But perhaps the most intriguing part of this story is the human element. There was immense pressure on the engineering teams to succeed. This led to rushed decisions and overlooked details. Despite the failure, the 1858 Atlantic Telegraph Cable was a crucial learning experience. It laid the groundwork for future successes. By 1866, a more robust and reliable cable was laid, permanently connecting the two continents. So the next time you send a message across the globe, remember the pioneers of the 1858 Cable. They set the stage for the interconnected world we live in today. Thanks for joining me on this historical journey. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating tales from the past. Till next time, keep exploring history.